Alrighty everyone, welcome back. Derek Stam Toys here. And today we've got a figure review. We've got Elite Series 84 Angel Garza. And before I get into the figure itself, I just kind of want to... I guess you could say I'm going to announce something really quick. So for September, I probably won't be getting any figures at all. I'll probably slowly review these individually. I may may say screw it and make the final two figures in the set that I have. Not genuinely the set because I didn't buy a whole wave or anything like that if you watch the unboxing. But I'm trying to save up so I could get a tattoo. Reward myself a little bit more plus calm down on the figures because I've gotten a lot of them over the past couple of weeks but yeah once October comes back around I plan on trying to at least get about like four to maybe six more figures to review during October maybe a couple of them in November but November will be a pretty fun time because that's my birthday month. So I'll probably have like a couple of small things for my birthday plus what I may buy myself just because I gotta spoil myself for my birthday, you know? But yeah, so I'll do that. And if you guys would be interested, comment down below. I'm going to be watching Clash at the Castle. I'll be watching AEW All Out. I may watch NXT Worlds Collide too. If you guys would like to hear my thoughts on the pay-per-views, I'll gladly make up a little video and try to describe how I felt about the pay-per-view as a whole. Maybe go through each match, give them my own kind of rating, or just describe how I feel about the pay-per-views. I feel like that'd be a little fun thing that I could add to the channel. But yeah, let's let's get into this figure. So we've got 84 Angel Garza. First time in the line. I should have said Elite Series 84, but eh, whatever. I don't script these things, so got a nice picture on the side. Here's the figures in the wave. My nephew's got that Buddy Murphy right there. I've been considering picking up the Sheamus, but they also got a new one coming out, so I don't know if I will. Nice picture on the other side. Same thing as the back here. And yeah, now that we've looked at the figure in the package, let's bust this bad boy out. I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, now that we are back, you can see the packaging here. Hopefully that that doesn't make a big ruckus in the video because I could see that blowing away, but whatever. I like doing the reviews outside. So let's get into the accessories. You've got his entrance pants and well he also will wrestle in these for a little bit throughout the match. These are pretty nice, nice feel to them. I also like the feeling on the logos and stuff. And you'll notice, instead of it being like normal pants, they tear at the side. So you could kind of almost give the effect that Angel Garza has ripped the pants off. Kind of like how he used to do during his matches. I don't know if he still truly does anymore because we very rarely see them on TV. I think they've been kind of coming back on TV recently. Him and Humberto Car Carrillo. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. So sorry if I messed up the pronunciation. But then he comes with two sets of interchangeable hands. Two mic holding hands. And two of these hands. Which I'm going to keep those on. Because that's probably how I will display him. So let's just put those over here. And let's break down the figure itself real quick. We've got a nice blue attire, which my favorite color is blue. So seeing this nice like light blue, it may look a little bit darker on the camera, but that's just because of lighting. It's a little bit darker than the pants, but not by much. 
He's got the nice white and gold trim on the logos. Which is also a nice touch to see because those, those shine. And then you've got like a nice matte blue look to the knee pads and stuff of that nature. Nice white boots. Afraid that those are going to stain in future use if I ever make a pick fed. But yeah, let's let's get into this head sculpt real quick. Now, I don't know if this Angel Garza has a uh, interchangeable head sculpt or not. I'm probably not going to bother to test that theory out cuz I'm not going to break this figure and then have to go order another one. But the head sculpt itself looks pretty nice. Got the little the little ponytail back there. And if we can get really close in on his face, that looks like Angel Garza. The true effects on figures nowadays is pretty damn cool. But yeah, now that we've got that broken down, we've looked at the figure himself. Why don't we break down a little bit of articulation before we get out of here? So... The head sculpt can rotate 360 if you try hard enough. My head sculpt's pretty stiff, which almost kind of makes me think that it's uh, it might be removable. I'm not going to try it, though. One little detail I just noticed, he's got like a little black earring in the one ear, so that's cool. Arm can rotate 360, of course... It can move out only a single joint in the arm, though, unlike most of the elites that I will be reviewing throughout the rest of the week. You've got hand rotation, you've got wrist bend, you've got waist swivel. It's got a pretty nice ab crunch. It's not loose, but it's not tight as hell either. <laughs> I don't know why I just laugh. Dirty minds, dirty minds. Got upper thigh cut. He can kick out that far, which honestly, that's a that's a pretty nice kick. I don't know if you guys can see it, but he is on ball joints. So that is kind of an interesting interesting thing to see. Got a double joint in the neck. Uh yeah, in the neck. Got a jump double joint in the knee. <laughs> Jeez. I'm just going all over the place today he's got upper boot rotation but it's a little stiff on mine so let me just manually turn it as you can see his boots can rotate and same thing with the ankle what the f what the flip what the frick is this why, why is the bottom of his boot almost coming out like that that doesn't make any damn sense. No wonder why I was having a hard time standing them. So that's kind of disappointing. But yeah, let me try to get them standing up one last time. And we'll kind of get into the end of the figure review. Alrighty guys, I'm back. So my final thoughts here before I wrap it up. This figure, it's beautiful. It's got good articulation. It's not too stiff. It's not loose. And for a first time in the line, it's definitely a grand figure. Of course, the only thing I'm going to have to do is kind of mess with the one foot. I want to say it's that one. Yeah, I was right. It, it is that one. Like, he's not terrible to stand. It may take you a minute, so if I was to ever use him in future pick feds, I'm probably going to want to remove the bottom of that and re-glue it, maybe. That's the issue, or maybe I just got to heat it up and, like, push it more in place. I don't know, it, it's kind of weird. But overall, I'm going to give this figure a solid 8 out of 10. So I'd say maybe about, like, a... Uh, 3.5 out of 5 stars. Just beautiful all around. The pants are a little weird to get back onto them after taking them out of the package. But, 
you know, to have Angel Garza in the collection, it feels pretty nice to see it. Alrighty, now, before I wrap up the video, just one last thing. If it would make the figure reviews a little bit better, feel free to comment below. Would you like to see me start doing, like, action figure comparisons, grabbing a couple of figures out of my collection to compare them to? Like, if I was to add one right now, I could put on Gerard AC and Almas and Lince Dorado and some, like, cool Latino superstars. I could put them up next to, like, Randy Orton and stuff of that nature. Because I've got a fairly huge collection. And that's also another thing, too. If you guys would be interested to see a collection video and to see, like, all the cool stuff that I have as far as action figures go leave a comment in the comment section let me know because I'm not just gonna casually do it if you guys don't want to see it but hey maybe I will just do it just for the fun of having the video out there I don't know but alrighty guys that's my review on Angel Garza I'm Derek Dam uh, Derek Stam Toys and we are signing off. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a uh, don't if you didn't. Subscribe for future videos. And we are out of here. Peace, y'all.